In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the most effective sport supplement of all time, creatine. And I'm gonna explain how you should load it, how you should use it, and what brands you should use. For today's video, I got a great question right here on my Instagram direct message. So I wanna read the question so you guys understand the perspective that I'm coming from, and then I'm gonna explain the details on how creatine can work for you. Hey Paul, can you do a video on creatine? I know there are a lot of videos out there, but they're from people I don't follow and not real familiar with. Absolutely, let's talk about creatine. Creatine monohydrate supplementation can increase the phosphocreatine to creatine ratio in the muscle, therefore allowing for rapid ATP resynthesization. Now, what does that all mean for us? It means that we're gonna perform better in the gym, we're gonna recover better in the gym. Creatine is also known to store a little bit of water in our muscles. This therefore becomes lean body mass, guys. So it is a bonus if you are able to use creatine. So let's talk about how to take it and what effect it's gonna have on you in the gym. All right, guys, so the value of creatine is that while you are mid-set, you're gonna be able to recover better and perform better. So over time, that's gonna lead to more training volume. More training volume over time is gonna lead to muscle hypertrophy. So instead of stopping at eight reps, you might be able to get 11. Over time, over a career, that's gonna lead to more muscle. And that's what we're after. All right, guys, so now we know a little bit of the reason why we should use creatine and what some of the benefits are, but let's talk about how to use it and how to use it effectively. Now, years ago when creatine came out, they talked a lot about the loading phase. Well, there's a reason for that. Creatine does not act acutely, meaning you do not ingest some creatine right now and then notice the benefits within a few hours. It's not like what we would typically see with a pre-workout, which is heavily stimulant based. It's also gonna have some things that like beta alanine that make you feel the tingle. So immediately when you take a pre-workout, you're gonna notice a change in mood, a change in kind of performance. Creatine does not work this way. Creatine saturates our muscle cells and it happens over the course of days, weeks. And once it is saturated, all you have to do is do a maintenance amount to keep those saturation levels. So let's talk about the best ways to do this. How would I suggest my athletes do it? Now, for my female athletes, I suggest three grams a day or 3000 milligrams. For the male athletes, we're gonna do 5000 or five milligrams a day. And this is the scooper for a full sovereign size. Now, the cool thing about creatine is, as effective as it is as a supplement, it's also cheap. Now this is Core Nutritionals, the supplement company that I work with. This sells for less than $34. This has 80 servings. That's 41 cents a serving or less than $13 a month for a supplement that you can literally scoop and pour into any drink that you're taking, okay? So when should you take it? The most important thing for creatine for most of us is remembering to take it. For this reason, I like to include it either in my pre-workout shake or my post-workout shake. Again, not because it's gonna have an acute benefit, but because it's gonna be something that we remember to do. You'll start to notice the benefits in as little as three to five days. Now, some people are gonna have digestive distress with this. So for that reason, I suggest you have it with a lot of water, potentially even with a meal if you notice that. I've also noticed that some people can handle this. They can handle a 5,000 milligram scoop with no problems. Others, if they have some distress, I've had them break it up into smaller, 1,000 milligrams over five times a day. These smaller amounts seem to have less digestive distress on the body. Now, over time, you should adapt to this. However, it is gonna pull some water into the body, so you might notice some initial weight gain. But as we discussed before, it's actually storing more water in our muscle cells. So that weight that you're gaining is actually lean body mass. Now, if you really wanna load it, there is proof and there is evidence that you can load this in a shorter amount of time the, the adjusted studies, they usually do this around 20 grams a day. That's right, five of those are four, since these are five milligram scoops, you'd talk about four scoops a day. Now the real value there is that you're gonna saturate the cells quicker. The real problem there is that you might run into some problems digestively. So I would just find what works best for you. But again, really find your rhythm with creatine. It's gonna add value, it's super cheap. Heck, I've even got a discount code with Core Nutritionals for less than $34 a month. If you use Paul R20, you save another 20% on any other supplements. And I don't push a lot of supplements on you guys, but obviously if you're interested in creatine, a company like Core Nutritionals is gonna make a great one. Now there are a lot of different options out there for creatine. 
all of the research and all of the effective research that I've seen is in creatine monohydrate. If you want to try different brands, remember, it's all trying to do the same thing. If it's a different version and it digests better for you, that's fine. I have found none of this to be true. I have found this single one ingredient, creatine monohydrate, to be the most beneficial. And in fact, I'm going to do an experiment with you guys. I'm going to stop taking creatine for a while and then I'm going to do a video where I add it back in and just see how much my performance changes. So let me know if you guys have any questions about creatine. I certainly think it's effective for anybody doing any level of sport and I'd love to hear your experiences below. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.